Okay, so today in the print lab, we're going to take this image and we're going to turn it into a duotone print on the Riso graphic printer. If you're not familiar with what Riso printing is, it's very much like a screen printer, but in the form of a Xerox copier. So you can imagine screen printing two colors at the same time at 335 prints per minute. So the first thing that we're going to do is here in Photoshop, we need to change this to a grayscale image. So we're going to go up to the image menu to mode, and we're going to switch the mode to grayscale. We want to get to duotone, but duotone is grayed out. We need to switch to grayscale and then duotone will activate. So grayscale first, it's going to ask us if we want to discard our color information. The answer is yes. So let's discard. So now we have a black and white image. We'll go back to the image menu, back to mode, and this time we'll switch to duotone. The duotone options menu will show up. This is where you get to choose your colors, and then you can mess with the contrast of those colors as well. If it's not set to duotone, set it right here. It might be defaulted to monotone. Let's switch it to duotone, and then we'll go about picking our colors. Now for Riso printing, the colors that you pick don't exactly matter, but to help pre-visualize what I wanna do, I'm gonna to go to our website and go to the Riso tab. If we scroll down, these are all the colors that our Riso printer has, and I can grab the hex code for the colors that I want. I'm gonna do blue and fluorescent pink. So I'll grab blue, copy that, click on this color patch, paste the number down here, click OK, click on the second color patch, go grab fluorescent pink, copy, and paste. And that will give me the beginning of a duotone image. Now you can manipulate these in any way you want. But keep in mind that this is not going to be a perfect representation of how it will turn out, but it'll give you a good idea. So let's go to the curves here. On the second one, I actually want to apply the fluorescent pink to the highlights. I'm going to apply the blue to the shadows. So I've got the fluorescent pink duotone curve here. I'm actually going to flip these. So I'm going to bring this all the way up. And I'm going to bring this all the way down. Okay, so now it's being applied to the highlights. And you can mess with it all you want. You can bring this down a little bit. You can add more points, um, add a little curve to it. Kind of mess with it and see if you can't get it to look the way that you want. Once you've got it looking the way that you want, you'll want to name the colors. That's really important. It doesn't matter what you name them. The software just requires that it has a name. So blue, pink. I can then click OK. And now I've created a duotone image that looks mostly how I want it to turn out on the Riso printer. So now I need to prepare it for Riso printing. And in order to do that, we need to separate the colors into separate files, and they need to be black and white and then we need to put them into a PDF. To do that, we're gonna go back to the image menu, back to mode, and this time we're gonna to switch to multi-channel. When we switch to multi-channel, if we come over to the channels panel over here, we'll see that it created two channels, one for blue, one for pink. So it separated the data for us. Now you can click on this little menu right here, and it's showing off the screen, so let me bring in Photoshop here a little bit. We click on this little menu and you want to select split channels. Now that's going to open up two files, one labeled blue, one labeled pink. So here's my blue channel and my pink channel, and they've already been converted to black and white. I just need to save these as PDFs. So here's the blue channel. We'll go to file, save as Photoshop PDF. We'll go ahead and save that to the desktop. We'll just leave these at default. Then we'll go to the pink file, file, save as, Photoshop PDF, save, 
leave everything at default. And there we have it. Now, to be helpful, it would be great if we could put those PDFs into one document. So let's open up Adobe Acrobat and we'll go to File, Create, Combine Files into a single PDF. We'll say Add Files, find the two PDFs we created, Add Files. Now the page order does matter. You need to put the pages in order of which ink you want laid down first. And generally speaking, it'd be good if you put the lighter color down first and then the darker on top of it. Sometimes, depending on the design, that might change. But in this case, that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna move this one in front. So we'll say combined. I now have a PDF with two pages, my pink layer and my blue layer. We'll go to File, Save As, Save it to the desktop. Duo Tone Reso. And now I can take this PDF to the print lab and I can get it resographed. Well, that's how you prepare a Duo Tone image in Photoshop for resograph printing. I hope that was helpful and we'll see you next time.